Hey guys, Nervin Lego Fun here, and this week we're going to be doing a review on this Best Lock Firebug. Let's open it up. Take a look at the instructions here and unfold them. And I got this at the 99 cent store for a dollar. So here's the instructions. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll open this up and build it. It's an 8x10 base plate, one pre built zombie fig. Uh, and this is the piece that I wanted the most right here. It's a little, uh, a little chainsaw which does not fit in his terrible, terrible hands. So let's start with the minifig here, okay? So the minifig is pre-built and is very wide for a minifig, at least on top here. It's got a strange nose right there. Minifigs don't have noses except for the friends ones. The eyes are indented. The helmet looks okay. Yeah. That's incompatible with Lego. That's okay though. The hands, uh, this one has some flashing on it, so that would need to be removed. So let's get on to the accessories that are included. Included is a pickaxe, a shovel, a drill, and a chainsaw. So the chainsaw is what I wanted the most. It looks like it's hollow behind there, which is kind of interesting. So let me get my handy dandy actual Lego minifigure to see how this fits. Oh yeah, who could ask for more? Yeah. That's perfect. See the pickaxe? Yep. Okay, the shovel seems to fit if you put it in like that. It seems to flop out if you put it like that. Let's try the other hand. Real quick. And yep, same with the other hand. So let's try the drill here. It seems kind of... Like it doesn't want to go in. Up, oh, there's flashing on it. Okay. So, it looks like it should go if you remove that flashing. Actually, I think it's better not to because it doesn't seem to flop out of the hand right now. So, let's get on to building the actual boat here. So the best part to this is going to be the accessories. The best part is the chainsaw. I think I'll buy another one just for the chainsaw. And the base plate because, you know, the base plates are going to be a dollar if you buy them off of BrickLink from like an actual Lego base plate. So all these little black specks here, that's kind of gross. That came from the set. Yikes. Anyways. Uh, overall, the, the set, if you can get it for a dollar, I would say get it, as long as you want the accessories. If you want the set to play with it, then I would say get it, build it for them, and remove the flashing. But, otherwise, I would say try to get something maybe a little bit better. However, if they like the minifig accessories, I'd say go for it. And, uh, so that's the end of this review here, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, thumbs up, I know that's the same thing, whatever. And please comment, uh, like comments, and subscribe. Sorry, this is very long-winded, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Oh my gosh, look at that. His arms go at a 90-degree angle.